In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can create a link server to MySQL from SQL Server. Now the first thing you want to do is install the ODBC connector. So you want to go to dev.mysql.com slash downloads and then select and then select connector slash ODBC. I'll be keeping the 9.3 version and I'll be downloading the MSI installer. Select no thanks to just start your download. Open the executable file, select next to continue, accept the license and select next. Keep the default option typical and select next. Select install and then select finish. Now let's launch the ODBC driver. So select start and search for ODBC. We want to use the 64-bit version. One thing to note, the version that you see here is dependent on the version that you installed. So here you want to select drivers to confirm that the driver is installed on your machine. Then you're going to select system DSN. So here you're going to be configuring the ODBC driver now to talk to your SQL server. So select add, select MySQL ODBC and the version that you downloaded. The version may be different from when you're watching this video. So you want to keep that in mind. So select finish, specify a name for your data source. I'm just going to call this MySQL DB. It can be anything. Here you're going to specify the name of the server. In my case, it's on my computer. So I can say local host. If your MySQL is using another port other than the default, you want to specify it here. Specify the username that you want to use to connect to your MySQL database. Now, please don't use root. This is just because this is just for testing, right? And specify your password. And then from the drop down, once your password is correct, you can specify the database that you want it to point to. Then select OK. Select OK to continue. Now, the next step is to launch Management Studio and connect to your database where you want to create the. So here I'm just going to right click link servers, new link server, specify a name for the link server. So mine is MySQL demo. Now you want to ensure that other data source is selected. Now you can provide a name, right? The product name can be the same as the name of the link server, right? So I'm just going to say MySQL, it doesn't hurt. And then here's where you specify the name of your data source that you configured in the DSN. So again, the name of the link server doesn't have to be the same name as the data source. So let me just demonstrate that and keep the link server as demo. Now the next step is to select security and then select be made with using the security context. Now you want to enter the username and the password of the user that you want to use to connect to your MySQL database. Again, in this case, for me, it's my root user. Now select server options and enable RPC true and enable it for the out as well. This will allow remote procedure call to your remote server. So let's go back to general, right? So for the provider, it's not for a SQL server, but Microsoft OLEDB driver provider for ODBC drivers. Go ahead and select OK. So here I have another correction to make, right? My data source is actually MySQL DB and that's what's in my DSN. So let's confirm that. Now let's select OK and my link server was created successfully. So let's expand, expand catalogs and I should be seeing the databases that are on my MySQL. So I can right click expand tables and I should see the table that is in my demo database. Now when I connect to my MySQL database, I should be seeing the same thing. So this is my workbench. Let's go to schemas. This is my demo database and this is my table. And that's basically how you go about creating a link server in MySQL. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.